Chip chap chip cheerio. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Iowans. I'm Engelbert Fistybums, standing here in front of the opulent palace, the Taj Mahal, if you will, of Iowa politics, home of congressional candidate Ed Fallon. As I'm sure you've seen in the news, Fallon is rolling in the dough. Come with me as we go inside the political kingpin's secret hideaway. Be quiet, America. You're on hollow ground, paved in diamonds, rubies, and gold-plated nickel. This is where it all happens. Fallon has outpaced rival Leonard Boswell, 10 to 1 in donators, and he's truly reveling in the cash. Let's talk with some of Fallon's hotshot A-list Washington insiders to see just how much they have suckled from the power teat. How long have you been working for uber-rich political kingpin, Ed Fallon? About three months now. And what is your salary? $2,500 a month. You mean $2,500 million? Uh, no, $2,500. But if you moved the decimal point three places and added four zeros, that would be $2,500 million. I'm here with Campaign manager, Lynn Hoyce. Lynn, how much do you rake in working for big man, Ed Fallon? $2,500 a month. I'm noticing a theme here. Then how do you explain your meager salary, considering that Fallon has outpaced Boswell in donors 10 to 1? He has that many more donors, but he doesn't take money from PACs and lobbyists and special interests, so his donations are much smaller. They're from normal people. Tell me, darling, how much do you earn working for Mr. Fallon? Nothing. I'm a volunteer. Volunteering for perks, such as? I had dinner with the campaign once. Did you not eat a steak inside of a lobster, inside of a crab? that was cooked inside of a pig. Actually, I made dinner, and we had tofu. <laughs> and I don't believe it. We have a chance to chat with the man himself, the dawn of the nouveau riche, Ed Fallon. Clearly, this is a candidate who's never caught hat in hand. It's true that you do not accept PAC money. I hate the stuff, with a passion. Donors from PACs are capped at giving $5,000 in a primary to a candidate and 5000 in a general, leaving a meager total of $10,000. Too small a pittance for fat cat Ed Fallon, who goes after individual donors, who can give unlimited, exorbitant no, 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 amounts no, no, of money. No, 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 no. The individuals are capped at 2300 so PACs are more than double what individuals can give. So, and the average donation to my campaign is 75 bucks. The problem with these PACs is they represent big corporations, they hire pricey lobbyists, lobbyists that probably dress at least as classy as you, and then Not they... very likely! Money flying through the air like beautiful doves, tied to gold string, attached to Mr. Fallon's pockets. Do you think you can give us a tour of your fantastical mansion? Though only the highlights, we have nearly the time, nor the film in the camera. To see all 40 acres of this fabulous mansion. I think you'll be disappointed, but uh, we'll show you what we got up here. I don't think I could be more disappointed than I already am. I got a table here, I got a little desk here, I got a computer, I got Gandhi, I got Russ Feingold, I got Paul Wellstone. And as you can see, Mr. Fallon enjoys 16 windows in this fantastic corner office. If you're a conscientious voter who cares about issues and getting things done, I suppose you could vote for Mr. Fallon. But if you're like me and want over rich people to lather you with hundreds of Benjamin Franklins, vote for someone else. For campaigns of the rich and powerful, I'm Engelbert Fusty Bums, saying good night, chip chap cheerio, and good luck.